Arc, Zen, Firefox, Chrome. The browser wars are heating up like never before, but what if I told you there's a new contender that's about to change everything we know about web browsing? Meet Surf, the brand new browser that's making waves in an already crowded space. And before you think, oh great, another browser, trust me, this isn't just another Chrome clone or Arc competitor. This is a complete reinvention of how we should interact with the modern web. You've seen Arc browser shake things up with its sidebar approach, you've watched Firefox champion privacy and Chrome dominate with its ecosystem. Even Zen browser came in with its minimalist take, but Surf, Surf is doing something entirely different. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you why Surf might be the most exciting browser innovation since Arc shook up the scene. And believe me, you're going to want to see this. But before we dive in, let me show you something that blew my mind when I first opened Surf. And this is the home screen feature. Now on the home screen, you can pretty much find whatever you were searching for and pinned on the home screen. And on the home screen, you can pretty much pin the YouTube videos like you can see here, where I search for the classic vanilla cake recipe. Now, if I click on this, this will redirect me to the YouTube. However, here I also have some of the articles on Google as well as the PDFs. And you can also pin the images, as you can see, where I search for the best tennis rackets. Let's say I want to get into the running and I want to create a specific folder or in serve they call it context specifically related to the running shoes now here on the left you will see open my stuff and here you can pretty much find whatever you've saved to the serve browser like the images articles even the notes here and uh, overall i think this is very well organized however you can also create a context which acts similar as a folder now let's say if you want to create a specific context based on the running shoes you will simply click on plus here and then you will enter your context name here i will call it running shoes and then here down below you can also describe your context and stuff will be out of fetched so you can for example out of fetch youtube videos all my images or every pdf however i will only click create here and now we have this context which is empty we can simply fill it up with the new google search and now this is our home screen however you can also change the home screen by changing the context on the left you can see simply the context we are currently on the home screen however you can change this to the running shoes as we created it before now you can put whatever you like here from your stuff already which are the links and the images here i would like to try something else and add stuff completely fresh to this home screen related to the running shoes so here i'll click on new tab and search for best running shoes in 2025 so make sure that you have the right context selected here however you can always go back to the desktop by clicking here or you can go to your home screen which is by default and now let's go here for example to this first website and you can simply put it here to the context of the running shoes so just like this save to active context now we can go back to the previous website and add this website as well for example just like this and if you find for example an image which is very interesting or the video you can simply click click on the video just like so and do the same thing by clicking this button right here. Now let's search for the images as well here. So I will add, let's say, an image of these shoes right here. I will click on save image and this should save the image to this specific context. And now you can go here, view desktop, which is pretty empty, right? So you can click on open my stuff here and go under the running shoes. And now you can simply drag every single item or select it just like so and put it here to the desktop. Here I have the image. We can also open the stuff and add, let's say, this website or this YouTube video. And then let's go here and add this website. And this is how you can organize the serve browser depending on the context or the folders. Now, here you can also see this option, which is called chat. Now, you can also ask about this. So, active context here, which is running shoes. And you can ask, for example, chat GPT. Or if you want, you can also change this to the Claude if you prefer it. So, so 
here I will ask ChatGPT which are the best running shoes for 2025, all built inside this browser. And this will search through the active context, which is running shoes, where I have every single stuff about the running shoes inside here, links and YouTube videos, as well as images. Now, here you can see here that we have the first recommendation, which is this shoe. And we also have the price, weight and drop. So every single cool feature of the shoe. And we can also ask here this chat, which shoe do you recommend for people who would like to start running? And here, this will search this same context. And here we have first recommendation, which is Knight Pegasus 41, which only costs this much compared to the first recommendation, which I think is for the professionals. So this is how you can also use this new chat feature built inside the Surf browser. And you can see also here one similarity to the Arc browser, which are how you can actually go through the tabs which are here on the left. You can also click this button and this will hide this sidebar. Surf has also one additional feature compared to the Arc, and this is to have the tabs in the horizontal mode, similar to the Chrome browser as well as Firefox. So you can go pretty much here to the settings of the Surf browser. And if you go here under the appearance, you can change this to the horizontal. And now we can see what these tabs look like here on top of the screen. However, I must admit, I do prefer the tabs on the vertical mode. Now we can also change the mode of the browser to the dark if you prefer it so. And here, if I go under the general, and if you want to check out this browser, I will leave my invite link in the video description below so you guys can try it out. And please let me know in the comment section if you have actually tried this browser out. You can also see that you have the AI provider. Now here I have this set to open AI. However, you can also change this to Claude by Anthropic, and you can also add your own custom provider as well. I must admit I do prefer the ChatGPT. However, I know many people prefer also Claude from the Anatropic as well. And here you can also see the input tokens usage as well as, as the output tokens as well. Now we already went through the appearance and now here we also have the experiments. Now here we have live contacts, we go wild mode or we even have the automatic picture in picture mode. And then here on the last option we have advanced features like use semantic search, show annotations in my stuff, save downloads to system downloads folder, auto generate chat prompts, auto tag images with AI always include screenshots in chat as well as desktop. Now this is pretty much it about this browser. However, let me also show you on which engine this browser is actually running. If I go here on this website, whatismybrowser.com, you can simply see this browser is indeed running on the Chromium engine. And this is Chrome 132. And I think this is the latest release as of recording this video. So yeah, this is pretty much the Chromium browser. And you you guys can expect the similar usage of resources compared to the Chrome as well as the Arc browser. Now, one interesting thing about this browser as well is that you cannot actually install any extensions on it. So I think this should definitely be added in the future releases of this browser to add some kind of an ad blocker, add other extensions as well from the Chrome Web Store. And maybe this is something that can be enabled or disabled inside the Chromium engine. Now, overall i'm quite happy with this browser and if you guys haven't already you guys can click the invite link in the video description below to sign up to this browser as well keep in mind that this browser is indeed in the alpha version right now we are in the version 0.1.8 as of recording this video and these are only the early stages of this browser now with that said i think this is pretty much it for this video if you haven't already make sure that you smash up the like button on this video subscribe to the channel as well and if you guys are interested in this wallpaper and many others, you guys can check out the first link in the video description. And with that said, have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you all around in the next video. Peace.